Hello, so I just want to quickly show you why I decided to transition from Canva to Figma and what my reasons, like three main reasons were. The first one is Canva has a lot of paid features. So for example, here a drop shadow um, I want to add. It, it is a paid element, so it has this watermark. Some other elements too, like for example, a cat. It has this watermark and once you don't have a subscription anymore, the paid elements get this watermark, which is a bit... You know, not the best if you've put in a lot of effort into your designs. Um, a lot of fonts are also paid. Um, yeah, and templates as well. So if you don't have a subscription, that's not the best. Um, I think Canva doesn't, doesn't really make sense if you don't have a subscription because it blocks a lot of features. And Figma, I've been using it like for uh, over a year now and I have never had to deal with an issue of a feature being blocked. So for the average user, you really don't need to, to pay. You can use everything to its, like Figma to its full capacity. Next, um, I like Figma more than Canva because in Canva, you cannot make very precise adjustments. For example, um, you can change the corner, like the corner rounding here. That is nice. I think that wasn't available for a while. But to add a drop shadow, for example, there is no easy button that I see to, to do this. I've looked for it, I cannot find it, and that used to bug me a lot. In Figma, that's very easy. You just click on an element, and then you see I added some drop, drop shadow here. You can also copy-paste a drop shadow from a different element, from this one, for example. Um, you can duplicate this image and then change remove the drop shadow, add a different type of drop shadow, change the exact, like, how much of how much drop shadow you want to have, basically. Um, and you can also change the corner radius of each individual corner, not just um, all together. Like, for example, here I can add 10 on the right corner. You can see here. You can add a stroke as well change the color and it's all super super easy once you know where the buttons are and what to do um, but that you can learn with a lot of youtube tutorials and skillshare tutorials tutorials i also used this like a lot like as, as a resource youtube and skillshare to learn figma um, is very helpful then also what i like about figma um, and what i don't like about canva is this layout so you have, you can duplicate designs, that's nice, but you have them in this layout, so like pages, or you can scroll through pages. In Figma, you have frames, and you can duplicate the frames, like your designs, basically, and you can see them all at once. And I find it very helpful, especially if you're creating similar templates, similar designs, carousels, you can just, you know, copy, duplicate, and then you can see this is my old carousel, and this is my new carousel, and then it's just easy to, to switch things up and see if it is coherent, if um, the designs look neat and put together and like part of your brand. For example, I did all of my cover images for my Notion templates on Gumroad in Figma, and you can see they're all very similar, and it was very helpful to see them next to each other so like uh, one image second image third image um, I also made these in Figma and um, this is just this was just a very seamless and easy experience in Figma uh, what I also like is that you if you have let me see um, let's say this is a, an image and you can easily resize it like this or um, scale it like this by pressing K. So I I love how easy it is to resize uh, images and designs for different platforms because as a marketer you always are resizing things. So you need this size for YouTube thumbnail, you need this size for Instagram carousel, you need another size for LinkedIn ad and uh, Figma just makes it all very easy to do. This is why also at Magic Design, we use Figma to collaborate and to uh, provide designs and to make most designs also. So it's just easy, it's seamless and not that hard to learn also for marketers to uh, change the designs and uh, adjust them and 
resize them and stuff like that. I use it all the time and these are my reasons why. Yeah, hope this helps. Bye bye.